Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II! Let's see what the townspeople have to say about us going to take down the Dreadnought. Or, well, take it out before we would need to take it down. But alright, let's see. Oh, okay. Well, that's one reason why I went over to bask earlier there, because... We could see the Dark Knight there before, so just to give you a little background on what's going on there and stuff. Oh, yeah, that is the general idea. How are we, uh, wait, what? Yeah, there you go. How are we going to blow the thing up? We don't have explosives or anything like that. I mean, maybe we could set it on fire or something. But, uh, oh, oh good, wait, what'd you say? Oh, good, good for you. I thought you were already here, though. Well, in any case... Oh, yeah, well, it used to be. Not anymore. Oh, okay. Well, that's one way to enslave people. No wonder they weren't very talkative the first time. Uh, the king, for some reason, doesn't say anything to you. So, yeah, there's nothing to really talk to him about. At least not right now. But, uh, well, let's see what these guys have for us. Oh, well, how powerful could it possibly be? It's not like a Death Star or anything. Well, yeah, we're, we're, it's kind of here already. Man, you are just really pessimistic, dude. Cheer up, Kona. I mean, uh, old dude. But all right, yeah, that's everything people say in here. Well, I suppose what Gordon says makes a little more sense now that we know we're going to be going over there. But, uh, what are you doing back there anyway? Are you peeping on Hilda in the windows or something? Maybe there's windows on the back of the building there or something. I don't know. But, uh, well, not like this. If only. But, sadly, he cannot help us destroy the Dreadnought now. But, uh, oh, yeah, well, I was kind of there. And then he's selling them to me. Do you want me to save the world or not, dude? Come on! But I actually do need to save my money for other things, so. But, uh, yep, you're all gonna die. But we're getting out of here. We gotta head over to Basque, and this time I am going to take the boat to get over there since I don't really need that much grinding anymore I do still want to grind up my MP a little bit I'd like to get both Maria and Guy up to uh, or over 86 MP that should do for us for now we're almost done with all the MP grinding I ever want to do but I would like to get closer to Basque in order to uh, before I start the MP grinding on the overworld here. We're still going to be using sap there, but, uh... Okay, so, in order to take advantage of the boat, just talk to this guy, give him some money there. We have to manually walk onto the ship for some reason. And you might get into a battle in between there. But, uh, well, fortunately we're good. And also, fortunately, you don't get into random battles while you're on this boat in the ocean here so that's pretty nice now i could take a ride from sid's airship to get over to basque it costs 100 gil but my money is going to be a little tight at this point so especially with the mp grinding i'm gonna do so i want to hold on to what i've got but if i need to i have items that i can sell probably the highest priority to hold on to would be the antidotes and the eye drops Maybe the garlic, if I can, but, well, we'll see what we can do here. So, let's see. I think this would be a pretty good battle to try and get some MP out of, if I can. This guy shouldn't run away from us here. That reminds me. Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, if you're in a battle where that that's flagged for you to not be able to run away from it, can enemies even attempt to run away from it? And in this version of the game, I'm pretty sure they won't even try to run away. If you can't run away, they can't run away, they won't even attempt to. Although, 
you could attempt to run away if you wanted, but well, that would be a bad idea. So don't do that. But all right, that should be good enough for Guy there. I know in Final Fantasy One, the way it worked was if I mean battles were st ooh intellect nice and MP good. But yeah, as far as uh, in Final Fantasy One, I, I know the way it worked was if a battle was flagged for you to not be able to run away, uh, enemies or bosses could still run away. Like if you used the fierce spell on them, like a four white mage group or something, like you would do that against Carrie or something. But uh, no, I would not. I mean, it's not really important there, but I think here, they won't even attempt to run away. Whereas, in Final Fantasy 1, if they try to run away, they're gonna get away. You can't just protect them from running away. Or whatever, whatever it is. You can't stop them from running away, or prevent them. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so, let's see. Now, hmm... I don't know that the next battle is going to be very good for MP grinding, so I'm going to do this now with Maria. I'll probably get into one, maybe two more battles at most before we get over there. But yeah, if you take the airship to get over to Basque, also the airship will take off and you won't be able to take that to get back. So it's not like the ship where I have to take it up here in order to be able to take it on the way back. Because those enemies are just not very... Or they're not worthwhile at all for me to fight very much other than for MP grinding. And we're almost done with that. But, uh, okay. So, yeah. We're good to go there. Finish these guys off. So, if I'm not MP grinding, what I like to do with these battles... Alright, got our MP. Ooh, and fire's leveled up. Nice. But yeah, if there's only like one or two enemies and I'm not trying to grind for something, then I'll just uh, finish the battle in one round if I can. But if it's like three or four enemies, I'll probably try to prolong the battle a little bit. If Even if I were able to win the battle more quickly than that. But okay, let's see. These guys, I think Blizzard should be able to take all of them out now that I've got over... 25, uh, M, or 25, or 24 intellect there, and I'm gonna have Furion and Minwoo go after the goblins, because they could still run away, but I don't think the goblin guards do. Come to think of it, I don't know that I ever see enemies run away from me, other than, like, goblins, leg eaters, and hornets. Yeah, like, later on, I mean, I just don't get that much HP, but you really don't need that much. Like, I'll get up to, like, 100, 120, and that's pretty much all set for the rest of the game. Everything else I need, I'll just get as I go. Woo! Lots of money there. Nice! But alright. So let's see, for MP... I do eventually want to do another MP grind, but we'll be good for now. Oh, okay. A multi-pass? No. No, we don't have multi-pass in this game. But, uh... Oh! Yeah, so I am. But, okay. Uh, I'll work on it, okay, dude? You can talk to the soldiers here, though. You're fine in this town, at least. <laughs> but, okay, there are some things that I would like to buy here, and I should be able to buy them. Let's see. With the silver plate, I do want to get one of those for Maria now. I'm not worried about her evasion because she's in the back row. I mostly just want that to boost her magic resist or magic evasion there a little bit. To help her out a little bit with that. Not to mention the defense will also be very useful against uh, the self-destruct ability. So even though she's in the back row, the physical defense will still benefit from her, or from it. And self-destruct is probably the most dangerous thing for me to deal with at this point. Let's see. Okay, so we got that. I still don't want to get it for 
uh, Therion or Guy because I want to keep their physical evasion as high as possible. And it does weigh uh, quite a bit there. I mean, it's, it's light. It's not an, an obscene problem there for anyone. But I still, I, I don't want to do that right now. But yeah, she boosted her magic evasion by 5% there. Not that it's really important right now, but I do want to have that ready to go for her. And we're going to find another one soon enough anyway. Well, you are slaves. Ah, nice. But all right. Oh, well, yeah, why would they? They're slaves. What did you expect? Oh, well, he's long gone now, from what I heard. Oh, really? Okay, well, take a look around. Oh, what about your glory? Huh. I like the hat he's got going on there. Oh. Okay, uh, why don't you do it then? I don't know. But, okay, so let's see. Here, I do want to buy the Asuna Tome. That cures permanent status ailments, not temporary ones. So, like, poison or paralysis or anything like that. No, it doesn't work on that. But it is... Por Im Basically, the important status ailments are mostly the permanent ones. Like being petrified, or envenomed, or blinded, or anything like that. Wow, I'm surprised my money is doing quite that good there. But alright, so we got Asuna. I want to teach that to Guy there. And I want to make that my top priority to get up to level 2. So that way I can have a little better accuracy with it. As you level up the Asuna spell, not only do you get more hits, so to speak... But you also are able to cure very or more dangerous status ailments there. So that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, that reminds me. With, uh, what is it? With Maria there. Let's see, with the fire spell. Okay, we got it up to level 2. Let's keep it there until I get to the dungeon after this one. So I'm not going to be using fire at all. Even if a battle goes on like 3 or more rounds. Let's see, with Guy, with the Teleport spell, uh, I was mistaken about the algorithm for how the HP damage is concerned. Uh, someone explained how the algorithm works to me. Uh, it's basically your HP is reduced to 1 divided by 17 minus the level of the spell. So let's say you were at level 9 Teleport, it would reduce your HP to 1 eighth there. So it's kind of like a exponential sort of thing. Like even at level 15, you'll still lose half your HP. It's ridiculous. So there's really no point in leveling it up unless you're gonna like do the select cancel trick, which I am not. And there's only a, a few dungeons where I really want to use teleport anyway to get out of a place. But uh, all right. Oh, okay, never mind then. Let's see. Oh, hey, hey, all right. Oh, yeah, there's a extra text box here for some reason. I think the guy who's maintaining the translation of the ROM, they, uh, I think they're fixing that. Or they already fixed it, but that was after I got this. I should update that at some point. But, yeah, that is one there. But, uh... So, let's see. So, yeah, talk to the guy a little bit here. And, okay, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, that's how you activate that little sequence trigger there. So, now we can go into the back there. And, well, I guess we got to, like, go through the sewers or something or other in order to get to wherever they're working on it. Uh, how much money did I need? Oh, come on! Okay, I, I gotta sell a little bit. I mean, I thought that would have been certainly enough to take care of the bill, but apparently not. But that's okay. Okay, so let's see. Well, I definitely want to get rid of these. So, yeah, let's just toss those, and I'll hold on to everything else for, well, for later. Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to equip 
some of the garlic that I've got now, but I think I'll save it for later. There are some undead monsters where we will be going, but they're not very threatening. And, well, we'll deal with them soon enough. Soon enough, viewers. But can we reach the Dreadnought before they finish completing construction on it? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy II. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!